Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to add Ubuntu on Windows boot menu after updating Windows 10. This procedure helps to fix grab error unknown file system and no such partition problem in dual boot computer. And also this procedure helps to repair Windows BCD, add boot files to a PC after applying a new Windows image. Even if you have encountered with bootleg fixboot access is denied error while fixing Windows 10 BCD, at that moment this procedure will definitely help to fix that error issue. So let's get started. This procedure helps to fix error no such partition related problem if you have deleted Ubuntu's partition from dual boot computer. And also this procedure will help to fix access is denied error while fixing Windows 10 BCD. In order to fix the problem, at first, you need a Windows installation media. If you don't have, see the video link in the description, there's a certain tutorial for you. However, now insert the Windows installation media and just restart your computer by pressing alt Control delete e at the same time and be ready to enter your PC's boot menu with hitting on F12 key. After that, select your inserted Windows installation media to boot from that. If F12 key is not enabled, then after restarting, continue hit on F2 or delete key to enter your PC's BIOS. Next, go to boot menu. After that, select your inserted Windows installation media to boot from that. For key instructions, you can see the BIOS item specific help. Alright, now click on next and click on repair your computer. Next click on troubleshoot option. Next click on command prompt. Before starting this procedure, let me tell you, this steps is for BIOS based computer. If you are using EFI based, then let me know in comment section. I will definitely try to show the solution for EFI based computer in our next tutorial. However, now type the command bootrec space for slash fix mbr and hit enter. Now type bootrec space for slash fixboot and hit enter. Next you should see the message, the operation completed successfully. But if you encountered with access is denied error, just type the command bootsect for slash nt60 space sys and hit enter. For older windows version, type bootsect for slash nt52 space sys and hit enter. Basically, this command used to update the partition boot sector code which is used to loading and running the bootloader. Now type again bootrec space for a slash fix mbr and hit enter. Next type bootrec space for a slash fix boot and hit enter. Yeah, now as you can see the status the operation completed successfully. Now type the command bootrec space for slash rebuilt bcd and hit enter. Now you should see the message total identified windows installation number is 0 and the operation completed successfully. You are done as you can see. Or if you see the message about number of total unidentified windows installation and if it is asked for add installation to boot list just type A for all and hit enter. After that you should see the message the operation completed successfully. Once you completed the steps close the command prompt. Now just turn off your system and remove the windows installation media. Wait for a few seconds and just turn your PC back on. Yeah, as you can see, Windows Boot Manager is now working properly.
This procedure helps to fix graph error unknown file system and also helps to add Ubuntu to Windows boot menu. Note, if you have formatted and deleted your Linux partition, then this procedure is not for you. Alright, in order to fix that issue, at first you need to download EasyBCD. See the download link in the description. I have already installed so I just open it. Next click on add new entry. Next select Linux under operating system. Next select grub to under type option. Next type the name of your operating system. Next select the Linux partition under drive. Wait, let me show you my Linux partition from Windows Disk Management. As you can see. Now just select and click on this add button. Now you should see the message Ubuntu added to the boot menu successfully. Next click on edit boot menu. Yeah, as you can see, Ubuntu was successfully added to the boot menu alongside Windows 10 and Windows 7. Now click on Save Settings button. Ok, as you can see the message, bootloader settings saved successfully. Now close all tabs and just restart your computer. Let's see both OS working properly or not.
yeah done as you can see both os working properly we hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions then please let us know please like comment share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day